All right, so the GeoVision Multicam system is restarting. Once it restarts, it's going to ask us for that username and that password we put in when we first configured it. And it's loading the system database. And let's go ahead and take note the date, the time, and then we got how much storage is there. There's 146 gigs. All right, so let's go ahead and log in by clicking the key and going into login user. Type in the username, and I'll show you what happens if you forgot your password. If you type in the username, it'll tell you your hint. Let's say we go and we type in the wrong ID and we go forgot password. It'll tell us we can't, it can't find it. So let's go ahead and type that in, press OK. Now notice the webcam server automatically started, the CCS, which is the remote view log. Also notice all the cameras are monitoring. There is a check mark. When you click on the monitoring icon and there's no check marks, it means they're not recording. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize GeoVision. And let's get started with setting the IP in here statically and getting DDNS on here. Okay, note that there's a little webcam here and there is control center server down here. Those two are absolutely necessary icons to be down here. If they're ever missing, open up GeoVision, click on the network, make sure there's a check mark next to webcam server. If there's not a check mark, place one there. Okay, so to set an IP in there statically, let's first find out what the IP is. So let's go to start, run. We're gonna type in CMD, that's Charlie Michael David, and then press enter or press okay. Then we're gonna type in IP config forward slash all in the command box. Go ahead and press enter. And you'll see we get an IP, a subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS server. So the only things that are important to us. Now go ahead and scoot this over and go to start. Then I'm gonna to go to control panel and I'm going to locate network connections. I'm gonna right click on my local area connection. I'm gonna to go to properties and highlight internet protocol TCP slash IP and then click on properties. Now basically we want this to match this. So we're gonna use the following IP and put in 192.168.0.1111. And then the 255.255.255 and then the gateway 192.168.0.1 and then the DNS server 192.168.0.1. Now your information may be different. Your default gateway might be 10.1.10.1 and your IP might be 10.1.10.53. Okay, so you would use the information off your computer to put in here. If you use this information, you may not be able to connect to the internet. I'm gonna press okay and then press close. All right, now we have a static IP address. So let's go ahead and close this and let's install the dynamic DNS server. So start my computer and then let's open up the version 8.3 disk. We'll choose the third option, install GeoVision 8.3 system and choose yes to the license agreement. And it's not in the first page, so you gotta press the little arrow at the bottom to go to the second page, and you'll see it right here, GeoVision Dynamic DNS Service. Go ahead and click on that. And then the installer will start. All the settings are perfectly fine. You can actually just, this is actually a program that is safe to just click next, next, next. Okay. 
Okay, now this window should automatically pop up. If it does not, let's go ahead and close these windows. If it does not pop up, go to Start, All Programs, and you'll see it here, DDNS, Dynamic DNS Service. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to obtain IP automatically, we want to run it startup, and then we want to click the register button. Sometimes this happens, it'll say it can't display the website, just go ahead and click on it again. Okay, now let's go ahead and do, <clears throat> let's see, Palmvid demo. One. Oops. Palm mid demo one. And then just make up a password one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then type in the Capacha XMS2Y. It is not case sensitive. And then just go ahead and press send. Now it says it will be activated in five minutes. Now we go ahead and type in palmvid demo one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the only time this password will ever be used. Click save. And all right, we got update successful. Now we can just go ahead and minimize it. Do not close it. It'll ask if you want to stop service, choose no. Just go ahead and minimize that. Now we have three really important icons down here. We have the DNS client, the webcam server, and then the control center server. If this is missing, you can't view the log remotely. If this is missing, you can't view the cameras remotely. And if this is missing, you don't have any address to go to. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into port forwarding. 